We're back to talk a bit more about the community and the impact our community for DevNet and for Cisco has on, well, I mean, everything that we do here. Um, I'm here with Saba and we're, we're talking about, what we've been talking about is the idea of community members. I mean, I'm sitting in the DevNet zone, you're working on the, over in the Insider, Cisco Insider area, and I'm sitting here literally looking out over a bunch of people. I've said this in a few videos, just people here. That's, that's why the DevNet zone, DevNet zone exists. We build the things that we build so people can feel like they can go do this on their own. You know, Sabah, you work on one of the community teams that focuses on our community at large, Cisco's community overall. I have to imagine that being in that role, you're experiencing a lot of different types of interactions for people in different places, working on different sorts of technology or problems they're trying to solve for. In, from your perspective, how, how do the interactions between our community members at Cisco and either product be used or the decisions that are made about how to interact with those folks, like what is that experience like being in your position, actually seeing how community members want to interact with us and what Cisco's going to do in regards to that? Yeah, so in my in my actual role, I usually am running Cisco Community. I'm one of the community managers for community.cisco.com, right? So we have millions of people coming in there, having conversations about Cisco products and solutions. And they're asking very specific product technical questions. Now I'll be completely honest with you, in my role, in my experience, I've never worked in a technical role. That's actually not something I've ever touched. But I'm able to still get that personal interaction with customers, to still help them find the solutions to the questions that they have and point them in the directions of the, like you said, the BU folks, the people across the organization who not only can benefit from what they're sharing, right? Seeing like, what are customers actually asking here on community? How can we improve as a result of that? but also foster that connection with them and know, okay, so this person who's a member of our community, they're actively engaging, they're talking all the time, they're somebody who we would love to learn more from and just connect deeper with. And it brings that connection and community. I know I'm saying community a million times, but it's part of the conversation. It's, it's bringing for, yeah. it to the forefront. <laughs> and it's really a, a wonderful experience. I'll say, uh, you know, personally, this being my role has been just so rewarding because I'm actually right in front and speaking with the people mm -hmm. who are driving what makes Cisco great, right? They're driving the technology, they're driving the innovation. Like, yes, the company is the one who's executing on those things, but we're making it for the exact members of the community who are engaging. So yeah. um, I find that really incredible and I see that value brought to the BUs across the, the organization as well. It's, you know, it's super interesting in the way that you're, you're framing it because we, I think people watching this will hope and maybe expect that, sure, yeah, you know, product BUs or other leaders will look at input and feedback that is coming from community members on a place like community.cisco.com and other places too, as, ooh, that's a good source of like keywords or what have you to figure out, should we adjust our roadmap in this way or look at developing that technology or some acquisition or whatever the thoughts are. And I, I'm sure that is all true to whatever, I can only speak from the DevNet side, but I'm sure that is all true in some degree, or to some degree. From what I think really interesting, I, I want to get your take on is, as a community manager, to your point, who is not necessarily there to just interact with people on their support issues and their specific technical input that they're trying to give, what is it like to be a community manager where your job is almost more of like a meta job? Where you're, yeah, I see that you're having these conversations, but you're almost trying to step back and say, psychologically or even philosophically, what is it you're trying, to, what is this person or this group of people trying to get out of being in a place to have those interactions. Can, you know, if that makes sense, can you talk about what that's like to actually watch it in that way? Yeah, it's incredible because what it brings back to the business, and what I mean is like the meta, meta level of business, right? What it brings back to the business is the humanity of it. It brings back the fact that, you know, we talk about internally, and every company does this, we talk about our customers, we talk about our partners, but what does that really mean? The per there's a person behind customer and partner. Each of these people has their own care abouts, has their own life outside of their professional sphere, right? So coming at it from that perspective, I, I really enjoy that personal connection. And I think that, that the personality is what's being brought to the forefront. Because yeah, again, like you said, people are talking about their technical questions, technical issues, but what they're bringing to it is their own spin. They're asking the question in their own way. Right. They're developing their community profile and one thing you and I talk about a lot in our day jobs is how they're interacting across 
different channels, right? These same people are really engaged with Cisco, not just on my where I sit in Cisco community, but across our greater community of Cisco, and they make it make up this community. And it, it's 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 the personal touch that I think is brought to the table with this. And yeah, I, I really love. I, I, we talk, so we meet on a regular basis, and we're talking about these sorts of community interactions all of the time. And we've had this discussion, which I, I, love, th I love thinking about it in this context of, there's like, there's, it's like community versus community. There's capital C community, and then lowercase c. Capital C being these tools like community.cisco.com or social media, or whatever it is, to like interact with people. It's a channel, it's a platform, whatever. But then there's, you use the word, the humanity. Lowercase c, the, the little community is a group of people who have a common inter common or shared interest. That is that is what community is. It's just a group of people. And yes, we have all these tools and places to make that accessible for pe those humans, but it's so important to remember that we do it because of the people. It, the tools we have are tools. And sometimes they're exactly what you need, and other times they're not. But it, Regardless of that, it's the humans that are here, and I, I really appreciate how you described that Cisco as a company really, ma really like, makes this a critical thing that we're spending time thinking about the people. You know, are there hits and misses here and there? Yes, because that's going to happen. But at the end of the day, we are, everyone is trying to do the best they can for the people that are here to give them the best experience possible. Right. This is from what I can tell. Absolutely, and coming to places like Cisco Live, coming to conferences like this, this is actually what drives it home for me because we're we're not only you know interacting online at this point we're coming in person so you mentioned I'm, I'm over in the Cisco Insider portion of, of Cisco Live so that's a whole program that sits within my team where we're bringing together our top advocates our champions those who want to engage with user research which again there's so much cross pollination right they're the same people who are visiting all of these booths but it's bringing that human face to the forefront and it's taking it out of the virtual world we have NDA only sessions that happen online but now we're having them in person and we can see people actually physically raise a hand, which we don't get to see much <laughs> nowadays. Icon of the screen. Right. <laughs> I think so-and-so's hand raised. Exactly, or like a discussion forum. This is like a real discussion forum. People are talking back and forth and it's a whole lot of fun to, to just interact with everybody. You know, cool. I, I, with the humanity comes the fun of it. And I would say that's another thing I maybe didn't emphasize in your last question, but the fun of it is a lot of what drives my, my passion for this work too. So. Fantastic. Well, Salva, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. And I, you know, what you do, we talk about this often because DevNet, we have our own little corner that we sit in in the broader Cisco community, specifically at community.cisco.com. So when people go to that site, there's a variety of places they can go to. One of them happens to be the DevNet Hub alongside many of our peers who are here at Cisco Live. Um, and I think it's really interesting because it, it, it reminds me and it reminds all of us that we are, we are a part of a larger group. Yes, we have our own things that we're very interested in, just like everyone else on that platform has their own things they're interested in. And it's just a good reminder that we're all here for the same type of reason. How we go about it, how we interact might be a little bit different, but it's all for the same reason, which is really cool. Yeah. So thanks for being here. Really yeah. appreciate it. Thanks for having me. This is super fun.